my lovely, lovely meatballs of America. Unfortunately, our meatball have some terrible, terrible, terrible news to tell you today. It is with a heavy heart that I tell you that our dreams of having the first anti-LGBTQ meatball as president have been finally and utterly stomped. Um, I can barely handle it out here. I'm suffering. That's right, Meatball Ron has finally dropped out of the presidential race. And I just can't handle it. I thought my people were finally going to have a chance at representation. But it wasn't meant to be. And now I'm sat out here in the cold. None of us meatballs are ever going to see somebody in the White House that represents us. Especially for being anti-LGBTQ. I just can't handle it. I just can't do it anymore. I can't hold on. Ron DeSantis, this is an ode to you. You who tried to represent the meatball people with your high heels and your sensitive skin and your allergies to sugar. I needed you. I needed you. But you'll always live on in my little meaty heart. Please come back. Don't leave us, Ron. Don't give up on us. This is so... This is so much for me to handle. Yes, everyone, it's true. As Meatball just told you, Ron DeSantis has officially dropped out of the race. And he uh, officially endorsed Donald Trump, which uh, nobody really saw coming, for sure. That was a real surprise right there. Um, from the beginning of his ill-begotten campaign to the end of it, Meatball Ron, Ron DeSantis. Uh, really, you know, he really, he really put in his all. You could see how hard he was trying to smile in every single picture. It was, it just, you could see it. You could see every muscle in his body trying to work out that smile. And eight months on the campaign trail in heels? I mean, that's impressive. You gotta say. You gotta say. It's impressive. Uh, but he's done. He's out. He gave up. The party goes to Donald Trump, as everybody, uh, expected. But, uh... Make America Florida. Yeah, who could have predicted that Ron DeSantis wouldn't be able to win with a uh, campaign slogan like Make America Florida? Incredible. You know, I told you, you know, I saw one of those in real life. I'm not even joking you. I saw a truck that had a Make America Florida bumper sticker. I live in fucking Washington. And somebody had the gall to drive around with a Make America Florida bumper sticker in fucking Washington. Now, I'm not gonna rule out the possibility that it was, you know, uh, somebody who was trolling. However, the people who were driving the car looked pretty goddamn old, and I get the feeling that they might have actually forgotten that they lived outside of Florida. That's all I'm going to say. It's, uh, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's been a wild ride for Meatball Ron DeSantis. And I got to say, uh, rip in Bozo, uh, uh, piss in peace. And, um, uh, what else do I want to say? There's nothing else really to say about him. He sucked. Can we just be honest about that? Like, all, 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 all goofery aside, the man just sucked. He sucked at pa campaigning. He was the most unlikable person that's ever walked on the presidential stage in recent memory. Uh, he can't smile. He has the Joker laugh. Every single time he tries to laugh, he laughs, like, four steps too loud. It's like he's attacking you with his laugh. 
Um, he got completely owned at the very beginning of his race by getting called Meatball Ron. Like, you can't beat that, you know? No matter what Meatball said at the beginning, okay? I didn't know Meatball was into the anti-LGBTQ stuff, but now I know. The lifted shoes. The uncomfortable laughing. The, do you guys remember that clip of him go, telling, like, a kid walked up to him with an ice cream cone? And he goes, he goes, whoa, kid, is that, that looks like a lot of sugar. You guys remember that? Like, who, who, why would you, why would that occur to you to be like, yeah, I'm running for president. I'm going to tell this kid he's eating a lot of sugar when he's enjoying an ice cream cone. Like, dude, come on. Just pathetic. Anyway, uh, as we all expected, Ron DeSantis didn't stand a goddamn chance in hell against Trump. And now he's out of the race. Uh, and I hope that he has a successful rest of his career uh, counting the dust motes on his ceiling. Uh, honestly, it would make me happy if Ron DeSantis was never able to get a single foothold in politics ever again. Unfortunately, he's going back to Florida where he still has uh, political power. So uh, we all have to wait for the true celebration of the end of Ron DeSantis for some time. Um, I think Ron DeSantis is a malignant toad. I think it's an insult to call him a meatball because at least meatballs taste good. Um, and, um, I think it's hilarious that he, uh, had to endorse Donald Trump after Donald Trump spent the entire year calling him a cuckold saying, oh my God, did you guys see the fact that, uh, Donald Trump thanked his wife? He was like, Donald Trump was like, Ron DeSantis you know, it's not easy out there. It's it's tough to run a campaign, but you endorsed me and I want to say thank you. Your wife has been helping me a whole bunch and I really, really appreciated it. It was incredible. The man is like one of the most cucked guys I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. That's real. He literally thanked his wife. It's incredible. Anyway. There's not much else to say about it. We always knew Ron DeSantis wasn't going to hold a, a candle to Donald Trump. And now we've seen reality unfold exactly as we predicted. The easiest prediction ever. Um, and in fact, he even got licked by Nikki Haley. In fact, Nikki Haley's doing pretty okay right now. Uh, she's still not even coming close to Donald Trump except in New Hampshire, which kind of makes sense if you think about it for a minute. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure she'll be dropping out soon enough as well. We all know the truth. Donald Trump is the Republican Party now, and uh, there are still a handful of power-hungry Republicans who are coping about the fact that, that they're trying to say, oh, it's not true, it's not true, but we know it's true. The Trump cult runs the GOP, and that is the world that those motherfuckers have to live in, and unfortunately, that we have to live in as well. So, uh, bye bye Bye. Bye to Meatball Run. Bye. It was nice knowing your wife, Ron. It's been a, it's been a pleasure for me, mostly, and also for your wife, if you think about it. Anyway, bye, Ron. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe.